Alright, arrays, one of the most used data types in Roblox Studio. You might have heard about this explanation, but they're basically drawers that contain data such as strings, numbers, objects, and even arrays inside. Sounds amazing, but how do you use them? It must be complicated, right? Not at all. It's as simple as 1, 2, 3. Okay, maybe not, but you get the point. It's easy. So, let's make a variable with a table value. So name your variable whatever you want, put an equal sign and just type in open and close curly brackets. And that's it. Except you won't have any use from this since this is basically an empty drawer. So let's fill up our drawer one of two ways. We can either fill it directly or indirectly. So let's first fill it up directly by just simply adding any value in these brackets. If you want to add more values then Add a comma or a semicolon and add your second value. If you want to add a third value, then add another comma or semicolon and add your, and add your third value. And that's it. And you can do this pretty much forever, until you run out of storage. And now if we print our array, we should get all of our values that we typed out. And if I press this little arrow right here, I can see that I actually got all of the values that I typed out. The first one being the number, second the string, and the third one the boolean value. But what if I want to print just one value? Well, that's pretty simple. So let's try to print the second value, which is the string high, from our array. So let's go back to our print, and instead of just typing array, let's also add open close brackets and the number 2. Whoa, 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 what the hell is this? Why do we even need to type this? What's the point of this number at all? Well, this is the index of our array, and its purpose is to get a specific value from our array. So, because we put the number 2 in, we will get the second value from up here, going from left to right. If we put the number 1 in, we will get the first value from our array, and if we put the number 3 in, we will get the third value from our array. But if we try to print out, for example, the fourth value from our array, we will actually get a nil value, because we only have three values, and the fourth value doesn't ex actually exist. So if we press run, you can see that it actually prints out nil, because we don't have the fourth value in our array. But we do have the first, second, and third value, so let's print those instead. And now once you press run, we should get all of the values, and that seems to be true. The first one is the number 1274, which is the same up here, the second one is the string high, which is the same up here, and the third one is the boolean value true, which is the same as here. Alright, now that we understand how to fill up our array directly, and now that we understand the word index, let's see how to add the values indirectly. So, instead of putting the values right between the curly brackets, we can delay it and add the values later. So, after the line that, you, that we defined the empty drawer, you, the empty array, let's add a value. To do that, we need to first get our array variable, and then type open and close bracket, and then type in, for example, 1. So that we can get the first position in our array. And now we just need to put an equal sign to set the value for our first index. So let's put something like 5. You can also put any number between these brackets, but I highly encourage you to actually put a whole number and also a positive number going from 1 all the way to infinity. Alright, and now once we print out our array, we should get... Oh, I forgot to pause the game. We should get the new value 5. And as you can see, the value 5 is at the index of 1. Alright, now let's see some examples. Let's say we have an array with a bunch of random numbers, and we want to add up all of those numbers and print out the final value that we get. So first let's get... So first let's make our array with a bunch of random numbers, just like this. And now let's also make a variable that will add up all of these numbers. Alright, and now we need a way to get our array 
and then get the first number and add it to our variable sum and then get the second number, the third number, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and lastly the tenth number and add it to our sum variable because there are only 10 total numbers in this array. So to do that we need another variable that will check the index of our array. So to keep it simple let's just name it index and let's make it equal to 1 and you will see in a moment why we need to put 1. Alright and now let's make a loop that repeats forever and let's also make it so that we increase our index by 1. Alright and now let's just simply make it so that the sum is increased by the number that we get up here. So because our index is 1 it will start the loop and because the index is 1 it will check the first number in our array and that is 2. So it will add 2 to our variable sum. Then it will increase our index by 1 and now our index is 2. So it will check the second value, the second number in our array and then it will add 56 to 2 and that is 58. Then it will increase the index by 1 again which will make it 3 and then it will check the third number in our array and that is 6 and then it will add 6 to our sum and that will basically and because our loop's condition is true our loop will continue forever. So we need to actually fix that. Let's make it so that it checks if our index is less than the total amount of numbers there are in our array. So because there are 10 numbers in our array we will make the condition index is less than 10. Oh and actually we need to put less or is equal to because with this it won't actually get the tenth number so we actually also need to put an equal sign right here. And now let's just add a print at the end and then we will see if our script actually works. Now if we press run we get 97 and is that true? Well I don't know, I'm not gonna add up all of these numbers. And also I want you guys to note something very important, this code right here sucks and please don't use this in your actual game. There are way better ways to actually, there are way better ways to make a loop that counts all of the numbers from an array, so keep that in mind. Alright now let's see a somewhat more practical example. Let's make some parts in our workspace, just like this. Let's also move them a little bit. Now make sure to rename all of your parts, so name it something like part 1, part 2, and I'll just cut this part of the video since this is boring. Alright now that you named all of your parts a separate name let's go back to our script and let's define all of those parts that we typed out. I'll also cut this part of the video since this is pretty boring. Now let's also change this number from 10 to 7 because there are 7 parts in our workspace. Let's also delete this variable right here because we don't need it. Let's change this print to something like code has finished. Let's also delete this code right here. And now let's make it so that we change a property for all, our, all of our parts. Let's change for example the size property. So we would get our array and then it will get our index. So because our index is 1 it will get the first part. And this is basically the same as this. So after typing this out let's put in a dot and let's now change the size to something different. So let's make a vector 3 value and let's make it something like 555. Five, five. And now if we press run we should see all of our parts increase in size which is pretty cool. We can also make it, we can also make it wait a little bit and change the part size in a small delay and that's pretty much it and now I challenge you to try and make something on your own. If you don't have any ideas you could try making for example two arrays with different set of numbers and add up the numbers from the first array and second array and print out which array is bigger. The only thing I want you to do after that is prove to me that you actually did it by going in my discord server down below and sending me proof in hashtag creations with the caption hashtag challenge 5. 
If you also understood my explanation, then leave a like and subscribe with notifications on. Also, comment down below if I didn't explain something very well. Alright, enough wasted time, good luck on your challenge, and see you in the next video.